y'all stand on your feet. Anybody ready to give God some praise? Anybody know that the Lord is high above the heavens? Come on, stand on your feet as with us. As we lift up the name of Jesus in this place, as we go higher in the Lord, come on and clap your hands with us. High above the heavens, the Lord is high above the heavens, and His glory above the nations, and His glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens, the Lord is high above the heavens, and His glory above the nations, and His glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens, the Lord is high above the heavens, and His glory above the nations, and His glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens, the Lord is high above the heavens, and His glory above the nations, and His glory above the nations. Give God the highest praise, acknowledging him always. And all the people say, Halle, 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 the Lord is high above the heavens. 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 And His glory above the nation. 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 You see, the Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And His glory above the nation. And His glory above the nation. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And His glory above the nation. And His glory above. Uh, the highest praise, acknowledging him always, and all the people say, Halle, 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 Halle,
He's truly worthy to be praised. And hallelujah is the highest praise. So we lift up Jesus. Anybody know that he is worthy of the highest praise? And that he's the giver of mercy and grace. Anybody thankful for his grace and his mercy? So come on, lift your hands with us. You are worthy of the highest praise. You're the giver of mercy and grace. My Redeemer, I will bless your name for you are worthy. Lord, you're worthy. You are worthy of the highest praise. Ooh, yeah. Lord, forever you shall rule and reign. And every knee, every knee shall bow and tongue proclaim that you are, you are worthy. Oh, Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. You
going to work that situation out in my favor. So here I am, Jesus, already giving you the praise. Here I am, Jesus, already giving you worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we magnify your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're so worthy in this place. Hallelujah. Worship him. Give him praise, y'all. I'm telling you, he's too good to just sit on that praise. If you truly believe and trust in the Lord, that he's going to bring you out. Stand on your feet and clap those hands as hard and loud as you can. And just praise the name of the Lord in this place. Amen. God bless you. Come on, let's give it up for the praise team and our musicians. How many know the heavier your burden is, that's when you ought to bless the Heavenly Father even the more. You don't even feel like it, but you have to give him the sacrifice of praise. And let me tell you, when you take the P off praise, you get raised. And when you begin to praise him, he will begin to raise you up out of your situation. And I mean, we've been locked down. We've been uh, shut in. And nobody should have to pump and prime you to come in and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Now, y'all so quiet, I just need to say, Hallelujah! No, that was just too light. Uh, wait, I need you to say hallelujah. Say it one more time. Oh, 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 oh hallelujah. I, 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 see, it's 4th of July. And it's the independence of America, but it's not all about the independence of America. It's about my freedom in the Lord. Wait, y'all too quiet. I need to, I need to talk to so I need to talk to some folk who know you're free. What's wrong with a walk? Wait, let me tell you. I got to tell you that you are free. Well, pastor, what am I free from? You're free from worry. You're free from depression. You're free from stress. You're free from fear. You're free from worrying about your finances. I need you to clap your hands and say, I'm free. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. It's giving time. Well, we can give our tithe and our offering. God bless you, those who are listening to us streaming live. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your generosity. And this is your opportunity to be able to give. The moon gives its light as the lesser light by night. The sun gives its light as the greater light by day. Everything in creation is giving. And let me tell you, God gave his only begotten son. And so you can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. I need you to look at somebody adjacent to you, tell them you don't eat your seed, you sow a seed. And when you sow a seed, an abundant and plentiful harvest will come to you and we ought to give God glory you don't have to clap your hands you can just see it in yourself just say thank you boy even during the pandemic God has made a way for us and I thank God for all of your your faces and your presence here because how many know you wanted to be queuing you wanted to be at home I know you so short and others wanted to be cooking but how many know 
that we ought to give the Lord at least one day. And so God bless you for your in-person worship today and even to those who are streaming live, who are listening. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Come on, give it up for our tech people. Amen. Minister Alvin Jackson, Minister Tiffany Jackson, and Hoopstar. I mean, Malachi Jackson. Amen. God bless. Thank you, Quality Control Ushers. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Bless you. Thank you, Sister Walker. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for your presence. Now, let me say we're having service next Sunday. We're going to have service, worship service, all this month. We're going to, the Bible tells us, you can read it in the 10th chapter of Hebrews, not to forsake the assembling of ourselves as the manner of some. I don't know. I, I, I like to be in fellowship. How many <laughs> got tired of just listening, streaming live? Bless you, Brother Harris. You just wanted to be uh, among other believers in the body of Christ. Amen. God bless your soul. Thank you so much. Continue to pray for our sick and shed in. God bless you. We're praying for Sister Power. You'll be coming in just a little while, Minister Whitfield. Uh, we're praying for Sister Power uh, and the loss of her mother. Amen. Keep her in your, in your prayers and all of those who are grieved and bereaved. How many know that your blessings outweigh your troubles every time? How many know you may not have what you want, but you have what you need? And the Lord have been meeting, hallelujah, Sister Whitfield, have been meeting our needs. How many know the pandemic, God only permitted and allowed it to come? We think that we can just enjoy the treasures of God and not endure the test of God. Let me ask you a question, then I'm out of your way because I'm going to preach a little bit and then let you go. Can God trust you with trouble? Can he trust you? with trouble. You have the treasures, you have a car, you have a house, you have money, you have a position, etc., etc. But can he trust you with trouble? Job said, yea, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. Well, the Lord told me to tell you that you're troubled right now. You, you, you're experiencing trouble, but God is getting ready to turn it around, and you're going to try on. Wait a minute, Dave. They ain't ready yet. I need somebody just to stand up right now and say, I'm experiencing trouble, but God is getting ready. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't even preached yet. Getting ready to turn it around. Turn it. I need somebody to clap their hand. Dave, you can take it after this. Clap your hands and say, my God. Getting ready to turn it around. Wait, clap your hands and say it for his glory and for our good. I don't know about you. I came in with my shouting shoes. I came in ready to clap my hands. I came in ready to give him glory. I came in ready to magnify the Lord. Dear God, our Father, we thank you for the tithers, those who gave in this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. You can give your benevolent offering at the, at the door when you leave. I, I don't know. I got something on the inside trying to make its way to the outside. Uh, somebody needs to say praise. Is what I do. Come on, David. Keep clapping. Come on. Well, come on. Come on and praise him. Come on. I got my instrument. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
came ready to give God praise. And I came ready to give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I noticed just by looking around, some people are not ready. You're not ready for the next breakthrough. You're not ready for a miracle. You're, you're just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. But I come to tell you this morning, you need to get ready. <laughs> get ready for this next move of God. Get ready for your next blessing. Get ready for your breakthrough. Get ready for your miracle. Who am I talking to? You need to get ready. So I'm telling you this morning. Choir is going to tell you, we're going to ask you a question, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, come on, come on. It's just a little chant that we learned on the other day. Real simple chant and you can sing it with us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for war? For war. Are you ready? 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 Are you ready for war? Are you ready? 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 For a church? For a church. Come on, say, are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, sing it with us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? For church, send your anointing, send your anointing. Come on, sing your anointing. Sing your anointing. Sing your anointing. Right now. Come on, I need you to say, sing your anointing. Sing your anointing. Sing your anointing. Sing your anointing. Right now. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Come on. Anybody need the Lord this morning? Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Right now. Come on. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Right now. Send your Holy Ghost power. Right now. We need your anointing to fill this room. Right now. Feel free to walk down the aisle. Right Feel free to move however you want to, God. Right now. Lord, we need your power. Right now. Lord, we need your power. Right now. Come on. Send your power. 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 Right now. Anybody need the power of the Lord? Send your power. Send your power. Send your power. Send your power. Right now. Some of that holy ghost, give me some of that holy ghost, give me some of that holy ghost. We need you, holy ghost. We need the holy ghost, holy ghost. To walk right, holy ghost. To talk right, holy ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost. We need your holy ghost, Lord. We need your holy ghost, Lord. We need your holy ghost. We can't walk right, holy ghost. We can't talk right, holy ghost. Unless you come in, Lord. We need it, holy ghost, holy ghost, power. Lord, we need your power. Lord, we need your power. Lord, we need your power. Send it down. Power. Send it down. Power. Send it down. Power. Send it down. Come on, clap your hands. Come on.
Come on, come on, clap your hands. Come on. Hey, what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Help me call him. Jesus. He's the lily of the valley. Jesus. Bright and morning star. Jesus. Alpha and Omega. Jesus. Beginning and the end. Jesus. Lawyer in the courtroom. Jesus. Doctor in the sick room. Jesus. Yes, he is. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. The more I call him, Jesus. the better I feel. Jesus. 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 He's my mother. Jesus. He's my father. Jesus. Yes, he is. Jesus. 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 Oh. Hey, what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Help me call. Jesus. Help me call. Jesus. The more you call him, Jesus. the better you feel. Jesus. He'll put a smile Jesus. on your face. Jesus. He'll put a smile. Jesus. On your face, Jesus. what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. All right. All right. Some people are still looking around, like, what is all of that? They still looking around, Sister Clara, saying, what is that? <laughs> or who is that? I ain't talking about Mohammed. I'm talking about the lily of the valley. Ah, I'm talking about the bright and morning stuff. So I'm going to say it one more time. For you that's in the virtual church. I see somebody that's sitting on the couch. And I want you to get up off of that couch. And help us call his name. Hey, what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Who can you call him? Jesus. 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 All right. Jesus. All right. No other name. Take that chant home with you. Take it home with you. Remove it. What's his name? Jesus. <laughs> I come to praise God this morning, Pastor. I thought about this time last year, we couldn't get up in the church. At all. All we could do was just watch it on the screen. But you in the church this morning, and you can't wave your hand, you can't show a sign that God's been good to you. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. I love the calling. Jesus. I love the calling. Jesus. I love the calling. Jesus. All right. We got to get ready to barbecue. Let's go. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Now, I feel like running. I feel like. And it don't take a lot of people to be in here because when I'm at home, nobody's there. But myself in the Holy Ghost. And every now and then, <laughs> every now and then, something getting to, to stir up on the inside. All of a sudden, if I'm washing dishes, suds will go everywhere. <laughs> but something on the inside will make me smile when I'm frowning. What's his name? Jesus. All right. So I want to know, because some of y'all still sitting there looking at me. And you're making me scared. See, sometimes you have better church just watching it on TV. But I want to know whose side you on. <laughs> Maybe this will get you. Whose side on you? Whose side you on? You either lukewarm or cold. He said he'll spit you out if you lose one. But we need some ride or die Christians this morning. Ha, where's my ride or die Christians this morning? Come on, just say, I'm, I'm one of those. Put that on the screen. Put it on the screen. Say, I'm one of those. I'm one of those Christians. Clap your hands. Come on. Deacon Durr say, I've been running. 
been running. And that leg will be moving. Running for a long time. Your time is winding up. You better make up your mind. Getting late in the evening. Sun is going down. Better get it right, get it right. While you have time, I want to know where man. do you stand? Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on the Lord's side? Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on the Lord's side? Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on the Lord's side? I'm on, I'm on the Lord's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm on, I'm on the Lord's side. Break it down. I've been running, I've been running. Or running for a long time. <laughs> your time is winding up. You better make up your mind. Get laid up in the evening. Sun is going down. Better get it right, get it right. While you have time, I want to know where do you stand? Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on the Lord's side? Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Who's on It may be somebody that's sitting on the side of you and just may be looking around like they're watching the Tigers lose. You say, well, that's not me. Were well, you watching the Lions on a summer hot day? Whatever you may be watching or your... Your, your best artist. Just look at them and tell them these two words. And I want you to put this on the screen this morning. Get up. Yeah. If you're on the Lord's side, help me quiet. Say, get up. Come on, put it on the screen. If, if you're on the Lord's side, get on up. Get up. If you're on the Lord's side, if you're on the Lord's side, get on up, get up. If you're on the Lord's side, if you're on the Lord's side, get on up, get up. If you're on the Lord's side, if you're on the Lord's side, kick, 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 get up. Hey, if you're on the Lord's side, if you're on the Lord's side, kick, 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 get up. If you're on the Lord's side, let's go. I'm on. come to tell you today that you are a winner come on you are a winner and we will fight and we will win come on choir say it we will fight we will fight and we will win and we will win we speak victory come on we speak victory to every trial you're in we are overcome a saint. We are overcome by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated. No longer defeated. We winners now. We're winners now. Didn't I just tell you we're winners now? Da 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 da. We will fight, say. We will fight. 
And we will win. And we will win. We speak victory. Sorry. We speak victory to every tribe we're in. We are overcomers. Say it. We are overcome by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated. No longer defeated. Come on, put it on the screen. I'm a winner now. Come on, take it to the vent. We we will fight. We will win. We will win. We gotta go say it. We we will fight. We will Come on, say it with us. We will fight. We will fight. We will win. We will win. We will fight. We will fight. We will win. I'm victorious. I'm victorious. We will fight. We will win. We will win. We will fight. I'm victorious. Say, I'm victorious. We will fight. We will win. Can y'all say that with us? We will fight. We will win. I'm victorious. I'm victorious. We will fight. We will win. We will fight. We will fight. We will win. We Three will parts. Win. We will fight. We will fight. We will win. We will fight. We will fight. We will win. We will win. We will fight. We will fight. We will win. We will fight. We While he's plugging in, I need somebody to say, I'm more than a conqueror. You know, my brothers and sisters, I wonder who are we plugged into. If you are connected with Christ, you are more than a conqueror. Now is not how I feel, it's an act of the will for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Now come on, give it up for the choir. Amen. God bless you. I saw Minister Quanchisha Jones, amen, the wife of. Pastor Cedric Jones, come on, give them a hand. I thank God for all of the pastors of, that come out of this church of Wings of Love who have been preaching through the pandemic. Come on, give them a rousing round of applause. God bless you, those who are streaming live, let me tell you that God is our hope in the midst of hardships and he is our anchor in a storm and you must be assured that he's going to sustain you. There's a word from the Lord. We're going to the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. 
chapter 16 and verse 6. The same book, chapter 21, verses 9 and 10. The first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, the book of the beginning. Genesis chapter 16, verse 6, it reads thus, But Abram said unto Sarah, Sarah, behold, thy maid is in thine hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarah dealt hardly, pay close attention, harshly, mistreating her hardly with her she fled from her face let's go to Genesis chapter 21 Genesis chapter 21 verses 9 and 10 Genesis chapter 21. Y'all bear with me. Our pulpit is coming. We're just using this lectern right now to proclaim the word of God. And I pray for those who are here in the sanctuary to bear with us. I know it's a lot of humming in this sound system. Genesis chapter 21. Verses 9 and 10 reads thus, And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, Look, boo, get her out. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Listen. Cast out this bondwoman, this slave, and her son pay close attention to cast out this bondwoman this slave and her son for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son even with Isaac I want to tag the text and talk about treated like discarded things Repeat after me. Treat it like discarded things. Perhaps you heard on the news there were many people who had experienced the flood due to the large amount of rain. And so they took their furniture and other items from their basement and put it out on the curve. I want you to notice that they discarded it. But then those who saw what was on the curve, they came, brothers and sisters, and picked up what was discarded. They are called scrap shoppers they took that and went to a place sister Webster and was paid money brother Harris and let me tell you my brothers and sisters what they discarded those who were scrap shoppers saw something valuable somebody said one man's job is another man's treasure. Somebody ought to talk to me. Thank you, Shortles, and your friend who gave us a dumpster, and we had an accumulation. Uh, you say, oh boy, Lady Jade, in the basement in several rooms, and we took that junk out of the basement. And let me tell you something. My wife, Wilson's worked me like a Hebrew slave. I was taking trash out and taking this and that out and putting it, Brother McGee, in the dumpster. And my next door neighbor, Rick, said, wait a minute, Al, wait a minute. He said, you see, 
the cord. I said, yeah, I see the cord. He said, let me have the cord that was to that toaster oven. He cut it. He said, I can get $45 just off the cord. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you that when people look at you as discarded, God see that you are precious, that you are special, that you are valuable. Can I talk to somebody in here? You ought to thank God that that, that that boy discarded you because you wouldn't have the husband that you have today. Somebody raising their hand to help me preach. You ought to thank God that that woman discarded you because you wouldn't have the wife that you now live with. Can I preach? The movie, I'm trying, bro, Walker. The movie Discarded Things portrays the tragedy that disrupts the life of an esteemed music professor by the name of Grace Wyatt. Listen, church, she is ejected from her lavish academic world, and she is launched into the harsh reality of teaching at-risk youth troubled students and repeated offenders that had emotional issues and behavior issues and academic issues and family issues. They were treated like discarded things, like removable blown out bulbs and disposable cups. Can I talk to somebody? I'm telling my age, Browns. How many of you remember that you used to take the blown out bulb and go down to the electric company and they would, do I got some help, Sister Webster? They would break that bulb and give you brand new ones. I want to let you know, my brothers and sisters, you ought to clap your hands and say, though people treat me like a removable bulb, God can do something brand new with my life. <laughs> can I preach a little while? Grace Wyatt saw their potential and the capacity in which they could serve discarded things. I'm glad you asked. You want to know what discarded things are? Discarded things suggest to throw away, listen, to reject, listen, and dismiss as useless or unwanted. It means to cast aside. I'm going to let you go in a little while. Dispose of or get rid of. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, that we live in an uncaring, cold, and uncompassionate culture. Wouldn't you agree? that disregard the lowly, the downtrodden, the aged, the homeless, the orphans, the disenfranchised. In other words, it means to deprive of a right to citizenship or to vote. The disadvantaged, meaning the handicap. Listen, as black and brown people, we understand what it means and how it feels to be treated like discarded things, packed in boats like sardines, brought over here against our will and without our consent. Many were separated from their land and from their families to be sold as slaves on the auction block and then made to work in the fields to pick cotton from sun up to sundown for master the women were sexually abused and the men were emasticated made weak before the women isn't that sad my brothers and sisters how they discarded our african american people they were whipped and beaten, called boy, and the N-word. How many of y'all remember that dogs were sicked on them? And then they took water holes and sprayed them. And even some of them went to jail. They could only go, just listen, you ain't got to say, man, into certain restrooms. 
and drink at certain water fountains. They were never allowed, watch this, to come in the front door. They had to go all the way around to the back. And even in this 21st century, those who are listening, streaming live, we are still confronted with segregation, discrimination, racism, and white supremacy. Black and brown people are being profiled, told, watch this, that they ought to pull over because of the color of their skin. Black and brown people have been killed by white officers, I believe, more than any other race of people. Now, my brothers and sisters, the Arabs were upset that they mistreated them and discarded them because of 9-11. Then here, the Asians come to protest talking about how they were discarded and how they were mistreated. But can I talk to somebody in this sanctuary and those who are listening, streaming live? Nobody has been mistreated, abused, and falsely accused and discarded like black folk. Listen, I'm trying to do it, Brush Shorter. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, Philando Castile, Atiana Jefferson, just to name a few. In this society, black folk mm, are treated like disregarded things. All of us prefer to be socially accepted and feel welcome in and around others. Nobody likes to be overlooked. Nobody likes to be avoided. Nobody likes to be rejected. For somebody to treat us as unwanted property or like cattle, to treat us as useless. However, God has a way, don't miss this, of taking those who have been rejected and putting them among the recognized and respected. He can take the nobodies of life and turn them into somebodies. Somebody can say, I started at the bottom, now I'm here. Y'all quiet in here. Can I preach a little while? He can take the least in life and make them the greatest in life. God can take those who are at the bottom of the rung and place them at the top, come on, Tiffany, of the letter in the corporate arena. I got to preach a little while. Others oh, may see you as trash, but God says, I see you as treasure. Other folk may see you as polluted, but God said, I see your potential. I need you to clap your hand before I bounce, before we get ready. And look at somebody and tell them the last. We come in musicians shall be first. And the first mm, shall be last. I feel my help here. I need somebody to look at somebody and tell them I'm in the back of the line now. But I'm telling you in this season, God is getting ready to move me to the front of the line. We must stop believing the lie. African-American folk, those of ebony hue, that we are discarded, disposed, worthless, good-for-nothing people. Can I preach? I'm trying to do the doggone thing, Wilson. We are valuable. We, we are important. We are significant. We are precious in the sight of our God. Nobody else cares for us. God cares. He cares about our plight and cares about our circumstances in life. Are you hurting inside, under pressure, being abused, treated poorly, facing danger? I want you to know that God cares. 
Look at where God. Mm, wait, I ain't coming yet, brothers. Where God has brought our people from. He brought us from sinners to saints. From damnation to salvation. He brought us mm, from nothing to something. From dirt roads to paved boulevards and drives. From renting to buying. From catching the bus. You ought to be clapping. To driving a car. From hand-me-downs to designer clothes. From living in a two-family flat. To living in a three- or four-bedroom house. From being broke to having money in the bank. From ignorance to education, from being called Uncle Anna Ainey, to being a mayor, a governor, a senator, congresspersons, teachers, principal, y'all too quiet, judges, lawyers, and even to step into the White House. You do remember Obama and his wife. A black man, a black woman with a black dog with two black children. In our text, Hagar was treated like a discarded thing. Her story is a beautiful picture of God's concern. I'm trying, Lady J, for the forsaken, the outcast, the rejected, and those that others look at as useless and unwanted. Hagar's name mean flight, stranger, wanderer. We look at Hag, H-A mean the. Guh means resident alien, meaning that she lived with Abraham and Sarah. She is an Egyptian bond woman of Sarah, a slave woman who had a son by Abraham. Don't miss this. And his name is Ishmael, meaning God hears. I need to talk to somebody who think that God is not listening to your prayers. Let me tell you, God is a prayer hearing God. Somebody know that he will hear and answer your prayers. When nobody else hears, when nobody else is paying attention, God is listening. She is young. She's beautiful. She is healthy, she is fine, she is cute and lovely. That sounds like my wife. Wait, uh, she was taken from her family and community. First of all, notice the graveness of Hagar's predicament, meaning a troublesome situation. Come on, let your fingers do the walking. Genesis 16 and 6 says, but Abraham said unto Sarah, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleases thee. And when Sarah dealt heartily with her, she fled from her face. I need somebody to look at somebody and tell them that's why you can't have two women in the kitchen. How many know that there was tension in the tent? Hostility in the house. Conflict in the crib. Now watch this. Sarah could not have children. She was barren. She began, she was accused, become accusatory, blaming God for her barrenness. But Sarah, listen, if you'd have had the same belief that God was able to give you a child, it would have been a different situation. Watch this. So Sarah concocted a scheme. And according to the custom, am I too long? And the plans of the custom of that day, she could take her female servant and give her to her husband to have children. And once she had children, 
they would become Sarah's children. Oh, you know the story? She get, you say you know that story, sister. Watch this. Gave Hagar to Abraham. Watch this, men. Abraham didn't refuse. Now let me warn you. Don't try this today. <laughs> don't talk about no menage or twi. Don't bring no woman up in that house. You might not make it back to John I in six by. Listen, listen, listen. She sent, she sent. Watch this. Don't it look like infidelity? Don't it? Don't it? Don't, you got to be careful. Let me tell you, unfaithfulness and infidelity and adultery can destroy your relationship. Let me move on. Y'all got quiet. Listen. She went in and she conceived. Watch this. Watch this. Let me hurry. I'm coming, musician. Watch this. She walking around proud. She's arrogant. Watch it. Watch it. Now, ain't nothing funny about me. I'm a man. Watch this. She walking around. Can you imagine her in front of Sarah? Ooh, I got a baby by Abraham. Watch this, the father of the faithful. Look, can you imagine Sarah in the kitchen washing dishes? And every time she washing dishes and sweeping the floor, here come old fine hacker. Flunting in the face of Sarah. So Sarah got mad. She got P.O.'d. She was angry. Watch this. Isn't it strange that it was Sarah who concocted the scheme and instigated the fiasco? Now she getting mad at Abraham because Hagar got pregnant. Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters, before I leave and get ready for the 4th of July don't blame somebody else for the wrong you did. Wait a minute, don't get quiet, music. Y'all might have to tap on that one. Don't blame somebody else for the lie you told. Come on. And how many know we are quick to blame somebody else when we are at fault? What she should have did was say, it was me. Forgive me, I'm sorry. But she didn't. And so my brothers and sisters, can you imagine how she was mistreating her? How she discarded her? And look, how many know you ain't going to sit there and let somebody mistreat you and stay in the same house? So let me tell you something. Hagar said, I'm, can, can I personalize Hagar say, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm out of here. I, I, I can't take this because... I, I, I can't deal with this because if I if I if I if I, I, I got to I got to go because I'm gonna mess around and slap Sarah. I mean, wait. <laughs> Listen, can I be real? And so she fled. Here she here she is in the wilderness. Let me hurry. In the wilderness now, and brothers and sisters, the Lord, bless your brother, said, appeared to her. Watch this, and told her to go back. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to show, watch this. You telling me, am I out of the camera? Wait, you, you telling me to go back to the same place where I was mistreated and abused. Yes, I need you, Hagger, to go back. I need you to go back to Sarah. Don't miss this. Shh, 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 come here, shh. Listen closely. We scream and say, Lord, change my situation. Watch this, Sister Whitfield. Watch this. God wants to change you to fit the situation. Y'all ain't going to help me. I know, I know you wish you'd have stayed home. I need somebody to look at somebody and tell them, let me tell you, it, it seems so unfair that God will have you to go back to the person who lied on you, who talked about you and called you everything but a child of God. He will tell you to go back. Watch this. It's all about.
about reconciliation. It's all about relationship and not resentment and retaliation. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, before I leave, that God wants you to stop running from the problem and learn how to face the problem. The problem is with many of us, we are so busy, watch this, telling God about our problems. We need to tell our problems about God. Can I preach a little bit in here? Look at somebody and tell them, I see, first of all, the graveness of Hagar's predicament. Let me hurry. But then secondly, notice the greatness of God's presence. I want you to look, brothers and sisters, at chapter 21. Now, brothers and sisters, she went back, but now. Sarah <laughs> got pregnant. Isn't there some Abraham went in, Brother Brown, watch this. He went in at 85 years old with Hagar. Now he's 100 years old with no Viagra. You get that when you get home. Didn't have a blue pill. <laughs> God, brother and sister, told that he was going to have a child, Isaac. Listen, Ishmael was not the promised child. Don't miss this. Brothers and sisters, that's how we act. Sometimes we act just like Sarah. We forget about the promises of God. And we begin, don't go up on the pew, to doubt God. Come on, talk to me. We began to fear and worry. We forgot all about what God had promised us. Listen, brothers and sisters, here it is. Isaac mean <laughs> laughter. Come on, come on with your mind's eye. Here we are on John I in Six Mile. But come on, let's be nosy. And let's look in the house. Now, here it is. They celebrating Isaac. But then, stand up for a minute, Dave, right there. Stand up. On, look at Isaac over there. Here come Ishmael. <laughs> you wasn't the firstborn. <laughs> no, I am the firstborn. I, I am the heir. Mm -hmm. What you doing in this house? Mocking and making fun. Oh, Isaac. Oh, okay, Dave, you can sit down. Mama Sarah came around that corner and said, what the, I mean, I'm just kidding. Mm, she came around the corner and said, what's going on here? I see you, Ishmael, making fun of Isaac. My brothers and sisters, let me pause to tell you that we are not to walk by sight, but we need to walk by faith. You see, let me hurry. It was Sarah who operated in the works of the flesh rather than faith. It's not about law. It's about grace. And so my brothers and sisters, I see Sarah now telling Abraham, drive her out of here. Cast her out of this house. And now here she is again in a dry and desert place. And my brothers and sisters, yes, I see now. Mm, uh, mm, I see a uh, Hagar again in the wilderness. Here it is, and Abraham, the baby's daddy, sent her with a, a little water. He didn't send two escorts. Let's go, musicians. He did not send her with a chariot, but he sent her away, though it bothered him. He sent her with just a little. Now, I see with my mind's eye, I see the child. I see Hagar took the child. 
moon and put the child under a tree because she did not want to see the child crying and the angel of the Lord appeared some have called this a theophany meaning the pre-incarnated presence of Jesus the Christ now I see Hagar crying church and I see her weeping and now the angel said Hagar thank you shorter what is bothering you give me another one sister Walker what is ailing you I'm still in the spirit ailing you and let me ask you what is bothering you thank you Dave what is ailing you do you hear me and I need you to look at somebody and tell them that God is concerned about your afflictions and your pains and your troubles God wants to know what is bothering you what is bothering your mind your spirit and your emotions and I see now the angel of the Lord looking at Hagar and saying don't go back yes I see now the Lord saying unto her lift up the lad and hold him in thine hand for I will make him a great nation you got to understand yes that God has has, has blessings for you and don't worry about nobody else being blessed because God is the bless e the blesser you are the blessee that have the blessings do y'all hear what I'm saying the same God that blessed Isaac also sister Joan blessed Ishmael but I want you to understand God did not hear Haggard's cry but God heard the baby cry and I want you to know uh, there are many children who are crying, uh, crying for attention, uh, crying for affection, uh, crying because they've been neglected, uh, crying because they've been abused. Uh, look at what happened to the Boy Scouts uh, all those years uh, of being abused uh, by men that they thought they could trust uh, and I need to tell you uh, your children are crying uh, but you ought to clap your hands God is going to hear the cries of your children do you hear me yeah feel my help him now the angel said just because Ishmael is born of Abraham I'm gonna bless you and the son your son do y'all hear what I'm saying and I need you to look at somebody tell them though you have been discarded you need to be happy and jubilant knowing that you are the See of Abraham. Do y'all hear me? Uh, oh! Y'all don't want to have no church. Oh, 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 oh! Because Abraham is blessed, we are blessed. I need somebody to clap your hand and say, I'm blessed. Thank you, Chris Jones, and I'm highly favored. If anybody know, he keep blessing you over and over. When they said you wasn't going to be nothing, you're going to be barefooted feeling, and having children. When they cast you away and excluded you, I need you to clap your hands and say, look at me now. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh! Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I feel my help in now. Oh, thank you, God, that I was discarded. Do you hear me? Yeah. I thank God. Yeah. Because I come to tell you, God, God, uh, oh, 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 oh. He will uh, prepare uh, a table uh, right in uh, the presence uh, of your enemies. Uh, you're going to get in this message in a little while. You ought to thank God. Uh, for your haters. Thank God for those who dissed and dismissed you because now God is promoting you. You remember Joseph, don't you? Joseph went in Potiphar's house prison. You know the story. And then, though he was discarded, now he was sitting down as the prime minister. Somebody got to talk to me. Oh! Queen Esther, who was a dessa. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh! When God get in it, look at you. Now Odessa is Queen Esther. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And I want to tell you, you experiencing problems. You've been picked out to be picked on. But the Lord told me to tell you, before 2022, he's getting ready to promote you. Come on, musicians. Y'all ain't screaming right. Oh, God. It's getting ready to promote you. Clap your hands and say promotion is coming in my finances, in my home, in my marriage. Y'all ain't getting happy. Among my children, among my children's children, I can't hear. Oh! Y'all hear what I'm saying? God is faithful to his plan and promises even when we complicate the process. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? My last point is, thirdly, notice the graciousness of God's provision. Oh! Good God Almighty. Oh! Look at verse 19. And God opened her eyes. And she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water. And gave the lad a drink. I come to tell you, though people put you in a desert situation, in a park situation, God told me to tell you. Yeah, they've been trying to count you out, uh, but God uh, is getting ready uh, to send streams. Uh, Y'all ought to clap your hands. Uh, rivers uh, of opportunities. Uh, clap your hands. Rivers uh, of open doors. Come on. Rivers uh, of a breakthrough. Y'all ain't clapping. Rivers of deliverance. Uh, do y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh, oh, 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 I come to tell you. I feel like preaching here now. You hear me? God, he will provide. Can I talk to some discarded people in here? Gibbs, no, you can't give him a high five. Just wave at him and tell him, God, it's Jehovah Jireh. Y'all ain't happy enough. I'm getting ready to let you go. Oh, won't he provide? All during the pandemic. Oh, won't he provide? He put food on your table. He put clothes on your back. A roof over your head. A car to drive. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Look at somebody. Tell them. 
Listen, Genesis 16 and 13 says, and she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her. God, save me. I had to pause for a minute because when everybody else forgets you, when everybody else turn their back on you, I, 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 I need somebody to look at the person next to you. Tell him God see, meaning that God knows anybody in here thankful that God knows he know about your needs he know about your struggles he know about your hardships well let me tell you won't God take care of those he see about her. you ought to clap your hand and say oh oh, 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 oh God sees I need you to scream out. I got a few more minutes. The clock on the wall says that's all. I believe, I believe, I believe that's all, folk. But I need you to look at somebody. Tell them not only did God see, but God hear. Can I get a witness that God's ears are open to the cries of the righteous? God can see the disgust. He's present. He is there to protect. He is there to provide. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh, good afternoon. Let me tell you about somebody else who know about being disregarded. Jesus came to his own and his own received him not to call him a wine bibbler and the only thing he did was turn water in the wine, called him a glutton, and the only thing he did is take two fish, made a tuna fish sandwich with bread, fed five thousands, called him a devil. How could a devil cast out the devil? Jesus, can I get a witness? Was discarded. They lied on him. They fought accused him do y'all hear me yeah finally they nailed him to a cross hung him high shuts him wide he hung his head and he died but oh that's not the end of the story went down 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 in a grave stay there three days and three nights all day all day thursday oh night thursday oh day friday oh night friday oh day saturday oh night saturday but there's a clicking and a cracking a shaking and a quaking i see the rock rolling i see the soldiers falling like dead men now jesus got up out of the grave with all power in his hands between heaven and earth the lily of the valley the bright and morning star he know how it feels to be discarded but that's not all now he's sitting on the right hand of the father I need somebody to clap your hands say I've been down long enough I've been held down long enough oh oh it's time for me to get up I don't care what you say about me I don't care how you feel about me I don't care how you think about me oh God 
can take the discarded uh, and uh, use them. Uh, do y'all hear me? Uh, clap your hands uh, and say they thought I wasn't going to be nothing, thought I wasn't going to have nothing, but look at me now. Uh, there is somebody who cares. Uh, clap your hand. Uh, say he cares for the discarded won't he be a mother for you won't he be a father for you come on won't he be a doctor for you won't he be a lawyer for you won't he be a friend that stick closer than a brother is he all right clap your hand and say lord use me you me let my enemies see me now look at somebody tell them if you want to see a miracle oh look at me y'all ain't saying it loud enough oh, 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 oh look at me I am a miracle do y'all hear me anybody know God will make a miracle out of your mess you ought to clap your hand oh, oh, oh God uh, take your tragedy and uh, turn it into triumph uh, I need you to clap your hand and tell somebody I am somebody God don't make no junk you ought to be clapping right now I am fearfully and wonderfully made oh you got to learn how to love yourself when nobody else love you you got to love yourself is he all right can I hear you say yeah say it again say yeah can I hear you say yeah yeah oh he's all right I know he's all right I know he's all right Oh, I know he's all right. Anybody know he's all right? I know he's all right. God bless you. Discarded things. The graveness, the seriousness of Hagar's predicament. The greatness. discarded and the graciousness of God's provision you know it's strange that when people count you out God is counting on you I need you to look at somebody and tell them don't don't worry about those who discard you and exclude you. Don't want you in their circle. Don't want you in their I don't want to be in it anyway. <laughs> I don't want to be in your circle. I don't want to be with the crowd. I need you to clap your hands and say, I have individualism. <laughs> this is how God made you. You say, well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of big. We'll just say you pleasingly plump. People talking about you ugly. Well, you might be ugly to some people, but you're beautiful to others. It's what you think about yourself. Clap your hands and say, I'm so glad that some folk discarded me because 
Women, I need y'all to clap your hands and say, if I'd have had that Negro, I mean that brother. Or that sister. God bless you. The door is open. You can come by and let a Christian experience a candidate for baptism. You say, Pastor, those who are listening to me streaming live, I, I, they discarded me. They, I, I, I know, Pastor, I had no business getting on drugs again, but I... I start drinking and, and I start doing crack. I start doing heroin again. They, they discarded me. Uh, I, I know, uh, Pastor, I shouldn't have been out there in the street, but I was acting like a red light D street woman. I was a thought. <laughs> Pastor, I've been in jail, and I've been out of jail, I've been in jail, I've been out of jail. Let me tell you, it does not matter what you did and who you did it with. God will forgive you and have mercy on you and shed his grace. Let me say to the children, Pastor, I'm mad at my daddy. My, my daddy ain't even been in my life. I'm, I'm, We're going to take communion. I'm pissed off. I, he ain't even been nowhere around. Well... 27th Psalm says that when your mother and your father forsake you, I'll take you up. I need somebody to look at somebody and tell them when God is all you have, you'll see that God is all you need. <laughs> the door is open. Come on, praise team. Come on, discarded people. The door is open. Come on, Sonny, if it doesn't even take a minute to worship him in this place. Anybody know that he's truly amazing? It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your love for me. Your love for me. It's so amazing. It's so amazing, your, your, your sacrifice for me, for every blessing, for every blessing given to me, given to me, for every valley, for every valley, you, you, you used to strengthen me, I don't deserve your love, your tenderness. Oh! <laughs> 
for your undivided attention. Thank you for your presence. Pray my strength in the Lord and pray for all of the pastors and preachers who have been preaching through this pandemic. Amen. It's, it look easy. We really, like T.D. Jake said, we make it look easy, but it's, it's not easy. Praise God for his strength. So as thy day, so shall thy strength be. Okay. Come on up here with me, Dave. I have received those who are streaming live. We need you. Get your juice. Get crackers. How many of y'all remember back in the day they used to have crackers that would crush them up in a, in a sauce? bless you. I'm not that tall, Dave. Okay. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let's eat together. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Let's drink together. It reaches to the high. They didn't give a benediction. They just yes, sang a hymn on the Mount of Olives. Remember to leave your benevolent offering at the back of the door. Deacon Edwin is walking around. Thank you. Hey Amen. Don't leave your seats. Thank you to the ushers. Dismiss you and thank you. Amen. Brother McGee and others who have paid their $100. 
for the church anniversary. Come on, let's praise God that he blessed us to be together for 37 years. Lady J, you can pay mine. I appreciate that, all right? Bless you. Thank you. Let us stand. Okay. It reaches. Amen. You can leave your benevolent the at the back. Uh, yes, mountain. Come on, say it. You dismiss waving one another. I love you, wings of love, with the love of God. You dismiss. Lowest valley. Oh yeah, the blood, the blood that gives me strength from day. From day 